Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so let's sol start solving our murder, the crime scene. I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad, see what they've learned. So did, you, did you see the man in the hood? Yes. I saw him. He killed that man in the street. I see. Look at all these people. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Okay, to solve an investigation, you must first search for clues by inspecting suspicious objects, interacting with relevant people by using the possess possessibility. All right. I can zoom in to the back of my head. Clues here. I've gotta tell me. So there's something. eight clues to find. When I looked at the thingy as well, this um, the Wikipedia of this game, it says on it it's an action stealth game. I just don't think it is. <laughs> it's more like a detective. Oh, hello. So I can mind read this guy. Just stay calm. People need the cops to be calm now. You see, he's worrying a bit. So I can also, I can dispossess. Okay. So I can see what people are thinking. This is all just so out of control. So dispossess takes me out. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. So let's look. Look at this guy's notebook. You can peek through his eyes. Let's see. Peeking through the eyes of the living allows you to favor in your investigation by selecting the most relevant information you find. Okay. What did he find out about my killer? Gets forensics to VX ASAP. Okay. Tenants missing. Cassandra Joy. Joy Cassandra. Whatever. Only weapons found the scene belong to Ronan. Let's click on this. Missing tenants must be who lived in the apartment I was thrown from. What's the most relevant information? Okay. There's it's not really anything there, I think, that relates to finding out what happened. I didn't read that. Was that input? Oh. Killer's weapon. The killer used my weapon to kill me. Why didn't he bring his own weapons? Okay, yeah, so that's just pretty much said that he shot me with my gun. We can't peek anymore at this, so. That's all we need from that guy. There's a woman talking about. She was a witness. Let's read this guy's notes. Why am I even here thinking Can't. You can, you can read his mind. If I could just get her to calm down, let her memory do its work. Is that what I'm saying or he's thinking? I think that's what he's thinking, isn't it? What about his I can influence her. Okay, how does that work? Shit. What would you make her tell who she re really saw? Huh? Killer's weapon. I can use that to influence her. I think we might be able to pick up more things before we try and influence her. So let's do that first. Let's dispossess. Okay, well, let's see what these guys are talking about. Eavesdrop. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer enter a building. Ronan responds, disregards orders for backup. <laughs> Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then bam, 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 bam. You really Seven to the chest. You really point have, blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. You live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. So we got some information there. I came here because a witness called in the report. Possible sighting of the bell killer at his location. Okay. What do these badges mean next to him? Um, each thing. I don't understand that. We can possess this guy. You can't do anything. Yeah, these guys are dealt with. So we got two clues. You can influence your ability to correctly influence a person. It depends on the clues you find in the investigation. So I think we're going to be doing the influence last. 
you know, find out all the clues first and see which is the best one to influence her with. If we spoke to this guy, or seen this guy, what's he thinking? Looks like the boys are doing everything we can do. So he's doing nothing. Did we read this guy's mind? I can't remember. Glad I'm not a cop. Yeah, that's not it. That's not really. What's she telling the people on the telly? Why are cops so tight? Don't they know publicity will help them? I could never do what she does. Alright, these are just people standing around. Okay, can we actually, oh, we can inspect the clues. It's my cigarette. <laughs> he was smoking when he was a ghost just before he started this inf investigation. <laughs> His backup gun. It's another clue. That's a good, that did me. Okay. Suspect my body. Shot me a lot of times. Beaten thrown from the window and shot to death. Whoever my killer is, he sure wanted me dead. So maybe it's someone he knew before he, he died. It's the broken window. Yep. There's the bullets from the, the killer. Yep. So there's one more clue. Maybe something on the ground. I think we've got all the things on the ground. I don't think we need to find all the clues, it's just like, you know, just get what you need and then you can kind of influence someone. Alright, let's influence her, see what we can use on her. That's all the clues actually, that, uh, the last clue will be her thing. What she'll say, I think. So we can make her mind think better now. With either the weapon she shot me with, the cigarette, just the, the fact that it was a, the bell killer, which is already uh, like a known killer. My gun, shot a gun. Maybe the shell casings, because she might refresh her memory more. She s remembers the bullets being shot. That's, that's a. Oh, it tells you what it does. Which is the most relevant clue, okay? The killer fired multiple shots. We've got to find out which is the most relevant to her thinking. The weapons, the actual bell killer, the gun, glass, my death. Surely the most relevant thing is my death, if that's what she's trying to tell. But she's also trying to describe the bell killer. Let's try the bell killer. I came here because a witness called in the report. People citing the bell killer in this location. Let's just see what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. That man in the hood. Outside. Uh, looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. So he's on the fourth floor. I'm thinking as well, these badges must be the score they have for the, the influence. It's, you know, so that two star, that two badge one wouldn't have been as good as a result as the rest of them. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let's conclude the investigation. My killer came here for a reason. But what was it? There must have some clues. So that's my way in, and it's closed. Fantastic. Here's my chance. <laughs> I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Sorry, what's this? The cops finding aren't leading to my killer's trail yet. I should check the top floor apartment. So he was on the top floor for some reason before I got there. Maybe to kill someone at someone else. Maybe that woman that just walked out was killed. Who knows? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, outside. Let's go in the apartment. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck is that? That is a scary demon. <laughs> like something off Silent Hill. So that's great. Does that mean because he's walked through it, I can walk through it now? Well, I can walk through it. That's just some guy in his apartment. 
Why is he not trying to figure out why what he needs to do next and move on? Hey, uh... <laughs> shit! You trying to give me another heart attack? No, I, I just. It was rhetorical, for God's sake! Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. Okay, so it's the top floor we need to go to, so I think anything around here is probably not going to lead us too much. That's the only way to go. That we can, oh, in the cupboard. That's the only way we can access, because we can't go through any other doors. I'm sure you saw the whole thing, and that makes you special. Always looking out the window, sticking your nose in everyone else's business. I did see it, and I'm going to have nightmares. I think we've got enough nightmares to last us a while. Look at that poor excuse for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes a chair more than me. Alright, so any witnesses to actually what happened on the street isn't going to help us, because we've kind of seen that, and, you know, it's not new. We need to find out what happened before we got one out the window. What's that? What's that mark on the floor? Who knows? Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. There's marks on the floor. I mean, that's leading me to the crime scene or something. I don't know. What's this? Hey, what's that? A collectible. There are many types of objects to discover in Salem. Pay attention to your surroundings as you explore. Even the simplest paper can reveal the secrets about Salem. So there's an extra story we can uncover by collecting stuff. Alright, see how far we can get up these stairs without... Okay, so that's... We can't go through that door, I don't... Oh! Yeah, we can. We're on the second floor, though. Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. Ah, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. I can't speak ghost, so I don't know what that says. Okay, let's get to the fourth floor. The fuck? If demons find you, they will hunt you down and suck your oh, suck your soul. Ugh. Okay. Escape from demons. The residue of ghost souls hide your presence from demons. Okay, so that's a ghost soul right in front of me. It looks like I can stand inside that and hide. So, oh, we're inside the ghost residue. You can move between hide objects to avoid demons. So we can hide to hide, like cut, moving from cover to cover in most other games where you're not a ghost. Okay, so if a ghost finds us, we just gotta run to a nearest residue and just bounce away from it. If demons can't find you for a while, they'll stop search, stop checking and leave. Something like that. <laughs> Hold R1 to see demons through walls, remember to always approach a demon carefully. So, it's a demon, that, that orange marker. Oh no, it's over there. That's his sight, he's in front of him. So there's no there's no cooldown on this ability, we can just look through walls whenever we want and see demons. We can also see other ghost residue. So we're back on the ground floor, I think. And we need to get back up to um, the top floor. 
So we can move across from hide to hide as much as we want. Right. I don't think he's patrolling, he's just standing still looking over there. Oh, there he is, he's moving a bit. Okay. So let's keep looking through this as we move. He's right there. There he is. How the hell do we get past him? We need to go through there. Can we maybe we can like get behind it and take it down or something? Like stealth. That's the bit that Wikipedia said was stealth. Oh, here we go. You can execute demons, okay. You must approach a demon from behind if you want to execute it. Holding R2 will attempt to attempt. Okay, so it might not always work. Hold R2. How does he know to do this? Circle. Left the circle. Okay, so there's a little quick time event you have to do there. How the hell did he know to do that? You know, I would not be trying things against demons if I didn't know I could do that. Okay, so we can look through walls still. There's two more demons on this floor. Oh, oh, it's hide. <laughs> okay. So there's a demon right there. We can sneak up behind that. Let's go through this wall first. See what's in here. There's... What are they? Who are those kids? Maybe we can just sneak past them. There's a lot of hide and things to do here. There's no, okay, this, this room is not connected. It's a closed door. Let's it's click on this. We got brews, we got TV, what more do you want? Uh, I don't know. Party okay, party. so. The demon's facing that way. He's, okay, he's going back this way. We can't go through that wall. So, oh, can we? Actually, there's a thing there. Let's try and execute this. Shit! Uh, uh. I had it behind him, but he turned around. Okay, they're both in here now, shit. So they start checking hiding spots. Crap, he's chasing me. Let's go past them. See if we can get, be get out now behind them. Shit, they're back there. Oh my god, are you serious? Teleport back through that corridor. Shit! So I tried to go behind the wall behind them, but it looks like if you're out of cover, they can see you through walls. Just the way we can. Okay, so let's just try and take them out then. It looks a bit buggy the way they're bouncing around. That's how they check stuff. Okay, so he's checking that one. Let's get past it. He's gone back to his place. Okay. So let's, um... We can talk to this ghost. When he turns his back now this way, we'll take him out. Okay, execute the bitch. Shit, press the wrong button. Crap. Oh, you joking me. Oh, for f oh, come on. No. Okay, we're gonna get him next time. <laughs> Jesus. It's not going as as I'd like it to. Okay, he's gone back to his place now. Okay, fair times at Lucky. Okay, so he's looking this way. His mates around the corner. Okay, when he goes past this wall now, we'll take him. And press the right button this time. Got him. Okay. Let's take this one out as well. I hope he can't. I'm gonna try running up behind him because you can't really go on stealth. You just walk walk around. So maybe if we run up to them next time, we'll be get get some quicker. The crime scene's up here. Okay. Okay, folks. I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. Guy got thrown out of a window. We're still looking for details. We just got would loosen up. This isn't a party. This is a murder investigation. No one seems to know anything to hear, because those people were saying like what the hell happened here, so they don't even know. They're no witnesses. Is this a thing we can unreveal? I don't really get what they are. <laughs> hey Broyles. You seen that little girl that lives here? She turns up. You come find me. Got it?
Okay, so there's a missing tenant. It was a girl. Maybe it's the girl that we've seen before. That's told us everything. No, she's she's been here a long time, hasn't she? So it's not her. Another investigation. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find something this time. So that's the question we need to answer. What did I miss? Why was he here? Triangle, find an answer. So you can... So you can attempt to answer your primary question at any time throughout the exploration of the entire scene. So if we find the qu uh, a clue that's like really relevant and that can help us with the main answer, we can try and answer it as, po as soon as possible. But before we step into this um, investigation of this room, I'm going to end it here. So we can, we've um, encountered demons on our way to this room. So all that's left is now to solve this crime. All right, guys, thanks for watching.